Uh, my name is Karen Woolworth and I am uh, the algebra teacher here at Rosary. I teach the freshman level of Algebra 1. This is the start of my eighth year here. I'm also a graduate of Rosary High School and a parent of a graduate of Rosary High School as well. Most people probably associate being a champion with um, competition, especially like in sports or um, dance or something like that. But for me, a champion means having a cause or a goal that you're passionate about and doing whatever you can to make that goal happen. I have three main causes or goals that I want for my students. The first one obviously is I want them to gain the knowledge they need um, to be successful in future math courses. I want them to leave my class at the end of their freshman year with more knowledge than they came in with. Um, I also want them to like math. Too often I hear people say, oh, I hate math, especially women. Um, I hate math, um, I was never very good at math. And I don't want my students leaving saying that they hate math. And finally, I want them to feel successful. And that's probably my third cause here for the girls or goal is I want them to be successful. I want them to um, come into class and feel like they can do math. I want them to feel success at it, even small steps, um, and uh, to feel good about it. To champion these three causes, I bring my love and enthusiasm for math um, to the classroom every day. I tell the students all the time that they will be working at their future jobs for a long time, so make sure you love what you do. I am so absolutely blessed to have a job where I have the opportunity to do what I love every day and to share my passion with young women. I also remind them that you don't have to be the best at something to pursue it. I was never the best math student, but I always loved it. I remind the girls all the time that you do not have to be an A student to love math or to be successful at it. I hope my passion is contagious and that the girls feel my excitement for the subject every day. I also encourage the girls to come in to practice math with me. I'm available almost every day before or after school to work with any student who wants to practice. Math is just like a sport or a musical instrument or dancing. The only way to get better is to practice. I want them to succeed. If a student wants to get better, I will be there every step of the way practicing and encouraging. I've had students who started out the school year with a D or an F, um, but were committed to getting better and would come in several days a week before or after school. And by the end of the year, they were earning A's. I will do whatever it takes for them to be successful. Sometimes I have as many as 20 students in my room before or after school practicing math. Do you know how awesome that is to see all these girls working on math and being successful at it? I'm just the coach, the girls are doing the work, but they are enjoying it. And that's what's important to me. In addition, I try to get the girls up at the board almost every day to practice math. They love getting out of their seats and being next to their classmates working on math. They help and encourage each other with every single problem. Math is most definitely a subject that lends itself to peer interaction and the girls love that. Rosary for me, my parents always valued uh, Catholic education and they sacrificed a lot to send my sister and I to Catholic elementary school and to um, Rosary. So, um, and I had the opportunity to work with such amazing teachers when I attended Rosary that um, when it came time for my daughter to choose a high school, she too um, saw the value in a Catholic education and the value of um, the sacrifices to make that happen. And so she wanted to attend Rosary. So I think Rosary for me was because of my parents. And I think for Anna, I hope at least it was because of what um, we felt was important and what we valued at our house um, is the opportunity for um, a Catholic education and especially at an all girls school where there are so many opportunities for young women. So ever since sixth grade, I knew that I wanted to be a um, math teacher. And when I came to Rosary and I met 
all these dedicated um, uh, teachers at Rosary, I knew that I one day wanted to come back and teach Rosary. Um, God had other plans. Uh, when I graduated from college, there were no math teaching openings at Rosary. So I took a job at another school. And after that um, came marriage and children. And so then I made the choice to, or God, I think, kind of directed me to pursue um, a job opening at Annunciation School in Aurora. And I love being a part of that um, community. Um, once my kids were grown, um, there happened to be an opening at Rosary for a math position. I think it was God's way of saying it's time to go back to Rosary. And so finally, um, my dream of one day teaching at Rosary um, came to be. And so now I'm back here um, at Rosary, hopefully um, inspiring other young women to pursue careers in math and science and um, just to feel good about math in general and um, just feel good about their successes in math and maybe someday pursue careers in um, the STEM fields. Hello, my name is Lydia Oker, class of 2021 graduate. I'm currently at Colorado State University in Fort Collins, and I'm here to share a few words about a special individual. Mrs. Woolworth was one of the first people I met at Rosary, who happened to be my freshman math teacher. I came into her class very behind and struggled immensely at the beginning. She noticed and took it upon herself to try her hardest to see me succeed in her class. She wanted to prove to others that I'd be able to overcome any obstacles that I encountered. She saw potential in me and knew that if I set my mind to anything, I could accomplish it. I'd come into her room in the mornings, during study hall, and after school to go over math problems. She proved to me that anyone is capable of accomplishing anything if they put their mind to it and work hard. Mrs. Woolworth influenced what I want to do in my future by forming my values of leading by example and possessing grit. She's taught me the importance of using my setbacks as life lessons to make me come back stronger and prove to others that anything is possible. I've learned it's necessary to seek out those who value your difficulties and want to see you advance in your learning. Mrs. Wolver is a champion because she's taught me you have to exhibit courage even if it means you'll fail. She's definitely been one of my biggest advocates and will gladly do anything to speak highly of her students to make sure they receive the recognition they deserve. When others doubt me and my capability skills, I know Mrs. Wolver will always have my back. Overall, she's one of the most encouraging individuals I've encountered in my life and has taught me to never give up on my dreams. Even though I may be 13 and a half hours from her, I know she'll always be thinking of me and cheering me on. Thank you for listening to me share my personal story of a special individual I hold close to my heart. My name is Maddie Gilmore. Um, I graduated Rosary in 2018. I go to the University of Illinois now uh, in Urbana-Champaign and I am a senior studying math education. I got to know Mrs. Woolwart when she came in uh, my freshman year as an algebra teacher. I didn't, uh, unfortunately I didn't get to have her as a teacher because um, I was in geometry when she entered, so uh, I didn't have the opportunity to have her. But I do always remember my friends who had her, that they would always um, like be in her classroom in the morning. She always had students in there, like every morning she was always there, um, which was just like a good sign to me that like people wanted to be there and people wanted to learn. Um, students uh, really were drawn to her. I could definitely tell that. She was also moderator of the math team when I was there and I just remember her always being so encouraging all the time. Um, she really tried to bring a lot of enthusiasm into math. So um, she definitely influenced uh, me wanting to be a math teacher just as I got to know her like as a mentor. Um, her and really the whole math department. Uh, influenced me in that. One thing that uh, really stuck with me at Rosary was just women empowerment around mathematics and I, I felt really blessed when I went here to have that encouragement and to pursue math as a um, as someone going to college um, and so I really one of my missions as a future teacher is to empower women to do the same so I would really love to come back and teach a Rosary. Um, I really felt like uh, that mission of empowering women um, really stuck with me and has influenced me as I've pursued teaching.